Hey guys, welcome back. It is Dirty Max LML, and today we are going to be working in the RV bathroom. I've had a few problems um, here in the bathroom, um, one of which being a water leak. So uh, we put some almond colored silicone around the perimeter of the shower and uh, bathtub. Also, we entered into this uh, access panel and tightened up everything underneath that has gotten loose over... Um, the many miles that we've put on this RV. Um, one thing I wanted to show you was um, this shower head right here. It's called Oxygenetics. This thing mixes oxygen with the water to make you feel like you have harder water pressure. And you can adjust that pressure with this and you can also shut it off. So um, if you need to take a longer shower, you can adjust this accordingly and um, you can adjust the water pressure so that you can save your hot water and have a longer shower. So this thing is amazing. I definitely recommend it. And uh, one of the other problems I've had is finding the proper anchor to use in an RV with these hollow walls. So I'm going to be showing you guys the proper anchor to use. Um, the thing is, is when they build these things, they do not put anchors behind here. And it was really difficult for me to find an anchor for these hollow walls because these are very, very thin hollow walls they're probably only about i would say maybe an maybe an inch deep and so what you want to do is find these right here this is the ever built hollow wall anchor so these anchors right here are made specifically for hollow walls so what it does is as you're tightening this up this scrunches down like an accordion and kind of pancakes out so they have let me see on the side here i don't know if i can get that or not but they have a little diagram right there and it shows you how to install it and actually this anchor there's these little tabs on the side let's see if i can pull this out just a little bit without dropping it so those are the little tiny it's almost like a little miniature nail on both sides so what you have to do is you Line it up the way that you want it and press in with a little bit of force, not too much. And then it kind of sits flush up against the wall. And one other thing to note is when you are drilling into this, remember, you cannot just drill through here like you would a regular wall. Because this wall is only one inch thick. So be very careful when you are drilling not to push through to the other side. So right now, I'm going to drill right there, I'm already through. So this right here is a 5 16 drill bit. Make sure you have the right size drill bit. And then when you do put this anchor in, you want to tighten it by hand. Get rid of this debris. Okay, so I'm trying to get a side shot. So. What you do is you put it in, and as you can see, it's like little nails on those sides. And you kind of push it in with just a decent amount of force, kind of wiggle it back and forth until it is completely flush. Same with the top. Just give it a little bit of a jiggle. Not too hard because, you, I mean, these walls are not very strong. As you can see, it's, it's flexing a little bit. So now I am going to... Add this piece here. Okay, I now have that on there. And now I can take these screws and I'm going to tighten one of these up a little bit. So you got to make sure it's grabbed onto the back of the anchor. And I'm just going to tighten it up until I feel it's starting to tighten up just a little bit there it is i feel it now starting to tighten up okay now i'm going to take the bottom one and i'm going to do the same thing tightening it up until i feel some kind of resistance okay there it is it's starting to get tight now that you know it's tight now you need to tighten it quite a bit more because you need to pancake that accordion like anchor so 
and you're going to fill it tighten up one more time when it's completely pancaked and you want to tighten it up till you feel a little bit more resistance okay this one on the bottom it's like you're starting over again so it's tight and then once you start tightening it up a little bit it's going to feel loose again because it's starting to smash that accordion like anchor now it is starting to pancake out and now it's starting to get tight again so I'm tightening it up and you don't want to go too tight so now I have both sides anchored in and that is way stronger way stronger than what it was before I mean when they put these in they they just put screws in there and you can pretty much just rip this thing right off the wall really easily so I can't really blame the kids too much I mean anybody could really pull this out with any force uh, with a light amount of force so <clears throat> now this thing is on the wall and it is sturdy so now we can actually hang some towels on here and this thing can hold some weight so um we just went through the bathroom cleaned it up really nicely um and uh, everything is looking good also this is a new faucet um i did put it in a while ago um i actually found that on amazon and uh, the faucets that they have come out right about here so you really have to put your hands underneath there and it's really difficult to wash your hands this one super easy you have plenty of room um inside here there's tons of stuff um basically rv train um, there's some extra silicone down there um, all the essentials definitely the rv um, toilet paper um, also we use um, flushable wipes those are back there so you can use flushable wipes we've been using them since 2014 i have never had a problem with the um, flushable wipes i use the walmart brand flushable wipes and uh, we use these in the rv never had a problem so you just want to make sure you have plenty of rv tree in the rv um, one other thing that i actually wanted to do was this right here doesn't have an anchor but you know what i don't know if you guys can hear that on video but hollow solid hollow so this is actually into wood okay so i won't need to put an anchor on this particular one that's probably why it's still hanging there today also um, this little panel right here gives you access to the bottom of the tub and what you want to do also with any rv is over time a lot of these pipes will loosen up so you definitely want to get inside there you want to check out the pipes kind of hand tighten everything um they, they were actually fairly loose and i don't know if that contributed to some of the water leakage that we had but um i had tightened all that up also there is an access panel right here that you can get into the back so and um also with the sink you definitely want to do it underneath the sink i tightened up every single thing because when you guys are on the road um this thing's just bouncing around it's moving all over and um things are going to loosen up in an rv no matter what so um kind of one of the reasons why we've kept this rv we did want to upgrade to a fifth wheel but um i know how to fix everything in here and um it's fairly simple um i've done quite a few things to this rv um over the years and um i know kind of how to work on this thing so that's why we're keeping it um not only that super cheap it's one of the um one of the least expensive travel trailers that you can um, get on the market that is a um, 34 foot and uh, it's very very light so we're just going to keep this thing so for your hollow wall anchors it's 632 by one inch and also that product number in case you just go on home depot um, or amazon for that matter it is 121206 is the part number um, that's that exact wall anchor and uh, I hope I was able to help somebody out there that was maybe looking for a fix 
instead of just a regular screw, now it's anchored on and it's solid. Okay, one thing you are definitely going to need on an RV are tools. And these are cheap little Chinese tools. I got this kit from Harbor Freight and this has been a lifesaver. Um, all these crazy uh, little things that you may not have used, well guess what? You're gonna use them on an RV. They make it really difficult and use all kinds of different crazy screws with uh, things that you may have never used or seen before. So do yourself a favor and uh, grab a kit like this. Um, I also do have other tools on board um, so that if I need to make changes to my weight distribution hitch or change a tire, I make sure that I have all those tools plus power tools. So um, make sure you go out of your way to buy some tools that you can keep on your RV at all times because you want to have fun at your vacation. You don't want to be jumping from store to store and paying big money um, while you're trying to have a great time. So this way you can fix things really, really quickly and um, you don't have to call a repairman out because guess what? It costs a lot of money, man. All right, the bathroom is now done. We've completely cleaned the bathroom. Um, everything is fixed now. Uh, the shower is working fantastic. There is no water leaks um, around the perimeter nor underneath. Um, and now we do have the towels actually hanging on a towel rack now. So, um, but what I wanted to show you was on the wall here, There are two wooden beams here and here, and it's hollow in between, but from right here all the way to the other side is completely hollow. So, um, I mean, instead of trying to find a towel rack with, that was that exact width, which, which probably wouldn't have happened, but uh, there was already holes here. Didn't want to try to cover them up. Wanted to use the existing hardware. I just needed to make sure that I fastened it properly. So hopefully I was able to help you guys um, with uh, finding the right anchor and uh, how to put it in properly. Also, these uh, little command strips. Things are awesome, man. I have these things all over the RV. And uh, I ended up getting that idea from uh, Keeper Daydream. Uh, that's a YouTube channel. Um, those guys are awesome. They just picked up a new 450 and uh, they have a fifth wheel. So um, if you guys haven't checked out their channel, Please uh, go give them a subscribe. Just want to give them a little shout out because uh, they have really great content, man. Super cool family. But anyhow, I hope I was able to help one of you guys out there. Um, and I'm going to put on the link below the exact um, anchor that we did use. And uh, I appreciate you guys very much. Um, your All your subscriptions, your likes, your comments. So um, if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see future content, um, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Thanks guys. I'm out.